What's up guys, it's Royal Zardian here, and I'm bringing you another video for Epic's Free Games of the Week. Uh, this week we're playing a game called Orwell. I'm not quite sure what I'm getting into, but let's see. Apparently I'm supposed to find out who's guilty, um, and that's pretty much uh, the goal of this game. So let's go ahead and start our character. Alright, so like I said, I don't know shit about this game. This is all, uh, this is all new to me. Freedom Plaza, April 12, 2017. All right. No record found. So I was trying to figure out who that dude was or see if they were guilty of anything. Did they have any crimes or past felonies? I don't know. So it's showing me the plaza again. Press escape to escape. Oh shit, what was that? What was that explosion? Episode 1, the clocks were striking 13. You're online, good. Call me Symes? We're gonna call him Symes. I will be your advisor on Orwell. Together we will form both the first and the last line of defense against terrorism. For this test phase, you are one of the first people to try out the Orwell system under real circumstances, selected from thousands of applicants from across the globe. Normally, reg nor normally congratulations would be in order, but as you can see from that footage, there has been an incident, so let's get started. So basically they said I get straight to work. We don't have time for it. I've activated the reader tool for you. Its purpose is storing bookmarks to online websites and documents for easy access and to, and to highlight when there is new information to be invest, investigated. First, I want you to be informed of the situation. Our leading newspaper, The National Beholder, will bring you up to speed. Okay. Let's look at the headline. Oh, it takes a second to load, too, like it's a real website. Feel free to browse the National Beholder. I've activated the profile profiler. Open the unknown person file once you're done. Bomb obliterates Freedom Memorial and kills three. Jesus. Bonten. Explosion destroys the Freedom Memorial in Bonten. Three people killed. Five severely injured. Authorities receive strange letter. I can read more. At approximately 7.50 p.m. on Wednesday evening, an explosive device detonated at the Freedom Plaza in Bonton. According to official police reports, three people were killed, and at least five bystanders were severely wounded. That's five people that can be questioned, right? Can I question them? How did this work? The Freedom Memorial was nearly completely destroyed. Police forces closed off the area immediately. Experts believe the attack was an act of terror with police confirming that the explosive device was homemade and triggered from a short distance away using a cell phone signal. Police reports also confirmed that several hours earlier, an anonymous letter containing the first three stanzas of the German folk song, I'm not going to say that because I'm going to butcher it, the thoughts are free, had reached local authorities. Prime Minister Blaine immediately issued a public press statement firmly condemning the assault and put the nation on high alert until the per uh, perpetrators have been brought to justice. So experts believe the attack was an act of terror with police confirming that explosive device was homemade and triggered from a short distance away using a cell phone signal. So that's important. And then I'm guessing the German folk song, The Thoughts Are Free, is also important information. Negotiation Negotiations in Triflith failed. Violent riots are all too common in the shattered city of Triflith. Peace negotiations in the riot ridden Pargus, I don't know how to pronounce that, capital city Triflith have been aborted without any result last night. Independent sources report the President Kassart abruptly cut off communication with opposition representatives as the latter 
presented a tangible plan for the organization of re-elections. The news about the premature cancellation of the negotiations caused thousands of people to resume dem demonstrations in the capital. Okay. It has been reported the, demonstra the, the demonstrators wearing hoods through incendiary material into shot windows. Okay, so it's looking like shit, like Molotovs and stuff. Into shot windows and onto cars. The police struggled to keep the situation under control. Prime Minister Blaine stated his worries about the negative developments regarding the political situation of the neighboring country and has requested both sides to resume diplomatic discussions. Okay. Movie shooting completed? Shooting of Grey Shadow Saga lasting four years finalized third part of the saga to hit movie theaters. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't think that's going to be important. The profiler holds all known information on those we investigate. The file you have opened is for our main suspect. The blue-haired woman that the CCTV footage shows before the assault is no stranger to the police. Take a look at the arrest record. Okay. How do I look at that? Man, they told me to look at the arrest record, but didn't they didn't tell me how. Adapt all data from the police record. Okay. Games like this confuse me. We're going to figure this out, though. Unknown person. So how do I investigate them if they're unknown? What is it? How do I? Ah, okay. There was other bought in police database. The highlighted elements in the record are pieces of data that are able to be extracted. We call these elements data chunks. Hovering over data chunks will reveal the, reveal the re relevance to the case and any connections or information it may influence. Drag and drop all data chunks from the police database into a profile to upload them to our servers. Okay, cool. I like how that works. All right, so let's look. Arrest date July 10th, 2016. That was a year prior. Assault on a police officer. Duncan Lloyd Bonton. Well, I don't think that's enough for us to be like, okay, she she did it. So report suspect was arrested on site after Officer Franklin had been struck by an unknown object and became unres unresponsive. The protesters at the origin of the assault were forcibly moved, where the suspect was found kneeling and weeping on the ground. When asked to lay on the ground with their hands behind her back, the suspect co cooperated immediately. Okay. Yeah, I don't think that's uh, let's look at more headlines. Bomb obliterates for you. Is this the same stuff I read? Yeah. Okay. So let's go back to the police database because it's telling me to drag and drop all chunks. I don't know what else I missed. Oh, this too? Not just her portrait? Very good. Pictures and names are crucial information Crucial information for Orwell to identify a person. Add the reason for Miss Watergate's prior arrest that has been unlocked. We will need this info to progress. Good. With the data you extracted from the police record, a new document can now be accessed. Now, let me ask you a question. Do you believe in coincidence? I do not. Find data revealing where she attacked the police officer, and you will see what I mean. They don't give me any indication of anything. They're just like, hey, go do this. Is this woman a, terror a terrorist? Woman allegedly injured a police officer two weeks ago. Remains in custody. Trial scheduled for August. Simple protester or anti-government, uh, anti-governmental terrorist. 
the case that keeps the media and the public guessing, Cassandra W., pictured above, who had allegedly injured a police officer severely. I love you so much. Injured a police officer severely two weeks ago is still being held in police custody. The young woman is accused of having hit the victim's head with a large brick. The incident occurred during a rampage at the Freedom Plaza as part of the demonstration against the newest amendments to the government's model project, the Safety Bill. Protest at the Freedom Plaza turned violent two weeks ago. Due to the chaotic nature of the scene, police have not yet been able to connect the crime to the accused Cassandra W., who is an artist by profession. We need that. Has denied the accusations completely and has asked her fans to show their support. A trial has now been scheduled for mid-August. The case received nationwide attention when Catherine Delacroix, Secretary of Sec Security, labeled the alleged perpetrator alongside the other rioters as anti-governmental terrorists. Okay. Oh yes, one who does street art by the blowing memorials to piece to pieces by any chance. Okay, hold on. It's a good it, it oh Jesus. It's good that you think ahead, but let's focus on the current objective first. I've held back a new document for you. I'll grant you access once you're done. I previously arrested previously arrested for assault on a police officer. The incident occurred during a rampage at the Freedom Plaza, a part of the demonstration. The exact same location as the assault. Then she turns up there right before the explosion? Surely not a coincidence. As you know, Miss Watergate is still running around freely. We should find out why. We should also gather more background information on her. I want to know who we're really dealing with. Okay. Great, you have found another document. Before we go on, let's clarify your job and how it affects mine, shall we? You have extracted all the info I already knew about Miss Watergate. Starting now, I'm going into this case blind. The Orwell Ethical Codex dictates that investigators like yourself are the only ones allowed to access the documents of, of target persons. Advisors like me only get to see that data provided by the investigators. We will then draw conclusions and request action. Your primary job is to provide information you deem important. Never give away incorrect or misleading data. You may hit disable on a data chunk you do not want to pass on to Orwell. However, some data chunks might be necessary to progress on the case. Why would you not add something to Orwell? Cassandra's portfolio. Harboring outstanding art. Okay. Hi, I'm Cassie, a colorful inhabitant of Wonderland, right behind the rainbow. Glad you found me. Finally found the courage to quit my dull day job, focus on my art career. All right. Below you will find... Hmm, inter interesting. We should find out what that job was. What does this mean? Okay, so this is the Utel information. All right. Below you will find a hand-picked selection of my latest works. You can browse through them by clicking on the arrows on the left and the right side of the pictures below. Good. You found a chat handle that will allow us to overhear any conversation on that account. The listener has now been unlocked. New conversations will appear whenever they are started. So we can... So she gives her Utel information... Does clicking through the pictures change anything? A colorful inhabit. Is that important? So you're under the impression that our wonderful Miss Watergate is really living in Wonderland? Somehow I doubt that. Call it intuition. People's lives are hanging in the balance here. What if you pass me something I cannot identify as wrong? Okay, cool. Cool, 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 cool. I just wanted to see what was going to happen. I can't get rid of it though. All right, cool. It's it's the beginning. We got this. Was there anything else there that I missed?
This was okay in a relationship. That's important. Yep, that butte is me. I was never sure about the title though. The businessman's forgotten daughter. Daughter of entrepreneurs. Listener. Hey you. Hey Josie. I can't seem to find my credit card. I assume you took it, right? Uh you got me, Sherlock. I'm in the middle of buying all of Barton with that platinum card I lifted from your desk. Stole a credit card from unknown person. Well, luckily for you, I don't mind you going on a splurge as long as you pick up some wine for dinner. She stole a credit card from an unknown person. Wine? What did Joseph Langley, my fearless attorney and all all around badass, have in? That's important. Let's bring that in. Wait, she stole the credit card of her lawyer? Really? Well, we should be able to track the credit card of this Langley. It sounds like they're together. No, really, no need to thank me, Mr. Langley. Okay. You now have a profile for a related person that can be accessed via the profile profiler. Data chunks will only appear for targeted persons and can only be extracted into, into their relevant profiles. Oh, whatever. I guess I shouldn't pick up some of those party pills from Big Pharma, a.k.a. my parents, then. Watergate, Pharma Entrepreneurs, that does ring a bell. Oh, come on. I was only teasing. Speaking of your parents, when are you going to tell them about us? Uh, yeah, maybe gotta go now. Text you later. Okay, procedure closing raises manipulation suspicions. So headlines, do they change? Not yet. Invest investigation into the malicious injury of a police officer that has been dropped due to lack of evidence speculated that the accused parents manipulated the trial. The case that has Orwell informs me you just encountered conflicting data shocks. Okay, so I'm enjoying this game. But there's a lot of information that they have to pass me, and I really hate being interrupted in the middle of reading something huge. Whenever the content of two data chunks are at odds with one another, these will be shown as conflicted. When you extract one of the data chunks containing a conflict, the others will become in invalid immediately. I'd highly recommend that you clarify the context of the conflict before you proceed. Through this is your decision. Once the information has been parsed, there is no way to reverse your choice, so I've learned because I gave the wrong address. Criminal case closed due to lack of evidence. What's the conflict? The daughter of pharmaceutical entrepreneurs? Parents may have been have closed the target person's criminal case by illegal. I'm not gonna mess with this. Oh, this is complicated. Watergate Pharmaceuticals. Mood elevating medication. Wait, are there, is that the only thing? Okay, so that's the list of products they sell. Appointed to be a COO of a pharmaceutical company, probably by one of her parents. Being an artist and a junior CEO seems quite odd. She also mentioned she had quit a dull job, didn't she? Would this be the dull job she quit? Carrying the family tradition to the next generation, Alice's and Bruno's daughter, Cassandra. 
We'll take that. Ah, uh, now I see. Keeping it a family affair. Yeah, okay. So their family runs the business together. Documents that you have already reviewed may be updated from time to time as events unfold. The reader will notify you when that happens. The National Beholder just published a new article. You may want to take a look and see if there is any new information available. All right. All right, guys. So I'm going to call it quits here. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I just, uh, I'm, I, I, you know, this game is pretty cool. I think it's neat. It's just not my kind of game. But if you guys want to see more content on this shit, you know, like hit me up in, in the comments and let me know what you guys think. Uh, I hope you guys enjoy. I hope you guys had a good day and uh, I hope to see you again next time. Please make sure to comment, like and subscribe and have a great day. Hey, guys, thank you for watching the video. Please don't forget to like, comment and subscribe. If you want to find my socials or my website link, please make sure to look at my link tree down in the description.